With this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a secure private network on cloud that is AWS cloud using VPC service of AWS. VPC service allows you to create this isolated secure network which they can you can split into multiple subnets. You can control the network, the IP addresses, you can set up the firewall, access control policies, and then you can securely deploy your applications and workloads inside that private network. To start creating a VPC, you go to the AWS management console and from services, you're gonna go to the uh, networking and content delivery section. And from there, you select VPC. From VPC, you have many options to create a VPC using a more detailed manual approach or you could launch a wizard and define a few features and then create one. I'm going to create this virtual private network in Asia Pacific Mumbai region. That's the closest region for me. So I'm going to use that. And um, I'm going to pick the wizard this time because I'm sh what I'm showing you is more or less like a simple demonstration of how cloud works. So without getting into details, I would just show you how you can create this private network quickly with few clicks of button using launch VPC wizard from here. Now, if you use the wizard, it shows you four different options. First is a virtual private cloud with a single public subnet, only the public subnets. Since VPC allows you to create a very secure network, you can also create some private subnets. The difference between public and private subnets is private subnets are the resources that you create, let's say servers that you create in private are never exposed outside. So if you have web servers, front facing web servers, you would create a public subnet. If you have backend services, you could create private one. You could also connect to this network from your corporate uh, you know, uh, data center or from your office using VPN connections. You can in fact use cloud as an extension to your, you know, to your corporate network by creating the fourth type of network here. I have chosen the first network with only public subnets for now, as this is just a demo and I'm going to provide details such as the name of this VPC, the IP addressing because you're creating a network so you can define the IP addresses, you can define which data center or the availability zone it gets created in and then provide a name for the first subnet. You could always add the subnets later to this cloud or to, to this VPC after creating it and that's it. It just takes a few seconds and uh, clicking on one button after this to create everything that you'd need to set up a secure network. It has al already created this v virtual private cloud for me with my IP range that is 10 slash 16. It has also created a public subnet inside this network and I can control the routes to it. I can control who can talk to my net, uh, the resources in my network. Uh, how can I connect outside and so on and so forth through the route tables. So the route tables by default are also defined when I selected the wizard. And as you see, this is a private network. This is a public network because I have an access to something called as internet gateway. So my servers inside this VPC can talk to the internet using over NAT through this internet gateway. And then you can explore various features of the virtual private cloud here and um, you know, uh, mainly the security groups, etc. So this is my VPC. I have one subnet. There are route tables set up. The internet gateways have been defined for providing access inside my virtual private cloud, the resources inside that. And then I have these options where I can also define the firewall rules. So I can actually secure my infrastructure, even though it is on public cloud, it can be very well secured and you can restrict who, uh, what is the incoming connection or what is an outgoing connection, who can talk to your servers, who cannot and uh, so on and so forth. This is uh, just an example of a security group. Security group is how you provide a server level firewall. 
Security group is a server level firewall. Network ACLs is a subnet or a network level firewall. And here I'm just going to open the port 80 because I want to deploy web servers inside my cloud infrastructure. So I'm going to say web servers, anybody can access from outside. So it would be deployed in my public subnet and I have opened the firewall rules, which I would use later when I actually create the servers inside this VPC. That's it. So I have my virtual private cloud available and I can start deploying my application. And that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate to you in my next video.